I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to have faith. The Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. I want to please God and I know you do. So we have to choose to walk by faith if we want to please him. The Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. What does that mean? Sometimes your situation is going to look crazy. Sometimes you're not going to be able to see the solution. Sometimes you're going to, you're going to look at your situation and it might bring tears to your eyes. And you may say, how in the world is God going to do it this time? But understand this. This is not for us to figure out in Proverbs. It tells us that we lean not on our own understanding. In other words, if my understanding is right here and my shoulder is right here, it's saying, don't lean on your own understanding. In other words, don't rely on your own understanding, DeMarcus. DeMarcus, don't rely on your worldly knowledge. It don't matter how many certificates or degrees you got. You can have more degrees than a thermometer. God's telling you don't rely on that. You got me? Lean not on your own understanding. Now, you may ask yourself, well, what do we lean on? We lean on Jesus. Why is that? Because, see, he knows it all. You never need to know it all. You only need to know the one who knows it all. There's going to be some situations you may go through. It may look dark. You may not see any hope. You may say, man, nobody understands. I don't even know how God's going to get me through this situation. But I want you to understand one thing. God is undefeated. The Bible says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. So since I know God is with me, I ain't going to fear. I'm going to choose to literally walk by faith. Why am I going to walk by faith? Because I got the shoes on my head, boy. <laughs> The Bible says that your word is a lamp to my feet, a light unto my path. That means his word is going to light up the very next step that you need to stay, uh, you need to take. Stop worrying about taking st 10 steps and you focus on taking one. Now, the question that becomes with the markers, what's that one step? Submitting it all to him, choosing to say, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. That's the step you need to take. And every day, that's the only step you need to take. Just that one step. See, God is going to do the rest. God can make the crooked things straight. I want to encourage you to stand on your faith even when it look crazy. Because God is with you. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. And understand this. There's not a devil in hell that can stop God's plan for you. Because what's for you is for you. Now you keep on walking by faith. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to click the like button. Then I need you to comment the word, I will walk by faith. That's right, because on Faith Street, you see it before it happened. Keep on walking by faith, man. You have a good day.